Hi everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the haze from your photo in Lightroom. It's really easy to do as soon as you know the trick. Okay. Now, haze is pretty in photos because it comes from uh, the light usually coming in from the side or back, but sometimes it can wash a photo out too much, and you can fix that haze so that the, the photo has more clarity. To do that, you're going to go over to your side menu bar and you're going to choose the effects drop down menu. If you look down to the third bar, you're going to see a slider called dehaze and this does magic things. As we move this slider to the right, you're going to see that the haze starts coming out of the photo and it starts getting a little more clear. Now on the reverse, if you wanted to add haze into your photo, you could always switch it around and you could make it very hazy. It doesn't really work with this photo, but in particular photos it might. Um, so I'm just going to increase that and you can see that it's already losing a little bit of the haze and becoming more clear. Now if you wanted to continue and add more clarity, there is a clarity slider. And that one can be found up in the basic menu here. So we're going to click that. And if you look in the third box down, the first slider is clarity. And you can move that up and you can see it's already getting clearer and clearer. If you move it up too much, it looks a little too um, unnatural. Um, and that could be the look you're going for. But for this particular photo, I'm not. I'm just going to move it up slightly. And with most of the sliders, I take it to where I think it looks good. And then I just drop it down a little bit. So you see, by using the dehaze slider and the clarity slider, that removed a lot of the haze. It still looks it has that pretty glow in the back, but it took that haze out of the photo so we can see the subjects more clear. Hope you learned a little something. If you did, if you're new to the channel, I'd love if you would subscribe, and I will have more uh, Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials up for you soon. Thanks for watching.